Hello everyone, this is Robot Shaz and I'm back with a new video. Today I am going to talk about Town Centre Arc. It started being developed quite a while back now, it's been like two years since Vince G and Matt have been working on this project. Now if you noticed from the last video I did on Town Centre Arc, if you watched it back, I just went through my inventory, which you can see over here with my furniture. Since the last video I did, there's been a few more things added to Town Centre Arc, which I'm going to talk about in this video. So, as you can see, this is my inventory, with the things that I owned in Small Worlds, which closed down in 2018. But since the shutdown of the virtual world, Town Centre then began to get developed. And this is what bit this is basically what has been added so far since my last video that I made on Town Centre. So at the top here there's a bar where you can open up the different panels and you can close them down as well if you don't want to see them. So I've just closed down my inventory as well. So you've got places, trading, collections, friendship, chat, expression and some little things that you can click on there still. Well, what I'm going to focus on today, if I can find it, is this that's quite new. It's the home chat. As you can see, there's a nice little bee sky background there on the panel. I'm going to click this little symbol here. And if I click that symbol, I'm going to close down that tab because I don't need that open. This is the new thing that's been added to Town Centre app currently and recently. So in Town Centre app, as you can see, there's a few people online now and there's a lot of notifications to the left side. Also showing some of the chats that are going off in Town Centre app. But I'm going to have a look at some of the spaces in Town Centre app and see what's going off. To start with, I'm just going to well, I can't go to the centre because it's full apparently, so I'll go to Find Friends. So this is Find Friends, and hopefully, there we go, I can get the chat up. So this is one of the spaces in Town Centre app. And a lot of people can just come and have a nice chat on this town centre app as well. Okay, so this is just one of the rooms. So I'm going to go to a few different rooms. I can come back to find friends later. Oh, hang on. Right, so I'm going to go to the Q Club. So this is the Q Club, and as you can see, some people have been putting messages in the Q Club already. So some people still miss up small worlds. And obviously, Blush here says, don't we all? And some people want the old game to come back because it's so different to what small worlds was like. But this is one of the spaces that it's been developed from Town Centre that people can now go in. And then one of my favourite rooms is this room, Rachel's Tea Room. So I like drinking cups of tea and it's quite nice that you know, there's a tea room now as well. So another feature in Town Centre that I've noticed as well, there's an arrow that you can click on to go like forward and back. And if you hover it, your cursor over people, you can see who's in the room as well, which is quite nice. So that's Rachel's tea room. And then next I'm going to look at Scoop's ice cream room as well. So a lot of the rooms in town centre at the moment look like this. It's basically a little panel where your character can 
upload into and people can just chat as well. As you load in, there's a different chat room that's connected to the space that your avatar is in. It's quite nice. So that's Scoops. As you can see, you know, people are talking in the different chat rooms that have just opened up. Next is the trading post. So for those who can remember, the trading post on Small Worlds was a big room with different trade terminals where you could trade with players. And as you can see, like there's some people in this room as well. And then the next space I'm going to look at is Smallware. And this space, well, no one's really talking in this space, it's quite empty. Uh, the chat is, no one's really bothering with this space, so I'm going to move on again. And lastly, there is this Centro, uh, Centro place for people to talk in. Honestly, I, I can't really understand. Um, a lot of what is being said, unless I get Google Translator up. But that's another space that people can enter as well and talk in. Yeah, so on the Town Centre app, there's been a new thing added called Table of Contents. And I didn't realise it at first because it's basically this little symbol here that you can click on. And if you click that, you get a list of all the spaces show up. Which is quite nice because you can just click on wherever you want to go really and chat in. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to look on the left now and on the left hand side, when you're not really focusing on the current space like you're in, on the left, you get a notification pop up that you can see. And if I click that, I can go to spaces like that as well. So I've just jumped back to the trading post and find friends again. And it's quite nice to see that you can just now jump into different spaces on the Town Centre app and you can move forward and back your avatar when you're in the room as well. So you can see different people. These are some of the things that is basically going off in Tulsa app at the moment. Another thing I should mention about Town Centre app as well, since the last video I made, you can now add emojis as well. So there's quite a few emojis that you can click on and add to the chat. Quite nice, quite basic, but it's nice that there's quite a few different emojis that you can click on. And so I'm going to put an owl, something random. There's quite a lot of different see, emoji faces that you can click on. Yeah, so in town site app at the moment, the updates that have came out is you can add emojis now, you can talk to your friends if you've got obviously a small world account and you've got onto the app and signed into it. You can now start to talk to some of your friends in the different spaces in town centre. I don't know what this is at the bottom. Not sure what this is at the bottom. But what you can also do edit profile as well. Which is quite nice. You can also edit your details as well now as well. So you can edit your details on Town Centre. You can edit like your motto. 
and you can talk to people now as well which is really really good and each space has a different background well most spaces have a different background unless you're just talking to your friend at the moment And that is about it for the Town Centre app video that I wanted to do. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Comment down below your thoughts on this new game that's being developed. It started being developed um, quite a while back after Small Walls closed down. It's been two years since Small Walls closed down. And now Tau Centre is the main focus, it's the main thing that's being developed and added to by Vince G and Matt as well. Hope you've liked this video. Thanks for watching everyone.